welcome back to Football Management. How pleased are you to be back? Um, personally, and I'm not speaking for Brian because he'll tell you himself, but uh, personally, I'm, deli I'm delighted. I've had um, eight or nine months of real frustration, you know. We thought uh, possibly that the job that we achieved over a um, in Yorkshire was one that would get us straight in back into the game, and obviously for whatever reason that hadn't hasn't uh, raised its head for uh, nine months. But uh, now the opportunity to manage a Championship club, albeit in the situation that they're in, but as, a, as Brian will tell, he's got more experience than me. Um, you never inherit um, a club that's riding high, as it were. But um, we think it's a great opportunity. It's a challenge. There's no doubt about it. Uh, we've got 22 games to go. Uh, we've probably got to win over half of them games for to stay in this championship. So uh, we are absolutely delighted to be back in football. It's a big challenge at the foot of the championship, but I'm assuming it's a challenge that you really relish. Well, having sat down with the um, the chairman and the the owner, um, I was more than excited. You know, after the conversations that we had a couple of days ago. Uh, they were one of ambition, they were one of um, trying to get out the situation that we're in, uh, which is a difficult one, there's no doubt about it, but um, one that we think we can achieve, you know. It, um, the word is, is undoubtedly challenge, you know, and it's an exciting challenge. I know there's a, a lot of apathy around at the moment because of the position of 24th in the, in the division, but as I say, we know exactly what's required for to get out of this position. We've been there before. Uh, and hopefully with the backing of the players and that's the important part for me the confidence levels of the players needs raising immediately you know it's when you're at the bottom of the division everything seems to be going against you and you do tend to slip into that negative mode you know but um, as far as we're concerned we need to quickly get on the training ground uh, as best we can and and fortunately for us okay there's an FA Cup game on Saturday but in January itself there's Saturday to Saturday, the Saturday games, and there's plenty of time to get on the training ground to get our ideas across to the players, you know, because that's going to be the main key. I think what we've witnessed this morning, albeit we didn't take the training session, um, and might I add David Unsworth and um, Jamie Hoyland, and can we thank them too for the, for the sterling job that they've done in the last two games, albeit they didn't get any points. It was very nice the way they. Um, they approached the task and, and certainly got a reaction out of the players and we need to continue with that reaction and, and try and get them in a positive mental state. Uh, but what we witnessed this morning, having not signed the contracts, we went to the training ground and, and watched the players train and they had 11 v 11 and, and some of the football was absolutely fantastic but it doesn't really matter on a Monday to Friday, it matters on a Saturday and if we can take what we do on a Monday and a Friday and put it into Saturday then we'll have a half a chance.